Have you ever thought about whether we're truly alone in the universe or if there's more to our existence than what we see? What if the James Webb Telescope finally proves that we live inside a black hole? Join us as we learn more about this groundbreaking news that will make you question everything you thought you knew about the universe. So what exactly are black holes? They're like something out of a nightmare. Sure, you might have seen them in sci-fi movies, but the reality is even scarier. According to scientists, they're not just pitch black holes in space. They're actually massive amounts of matter squeezed into an incredibly small area. Think of a star 10 times more massive than the sun, all packed into a sphere the size of New York City. The gravitational pull is so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape from it. Scientists have been fascinated by black holes for centuries, ever since they pondered objects in space so massive and dense that they could trap light. The most famous ideas about black holes were predicted by Einstein's theory of general relativity. Essentially, when a massive star dies, it leaves behind a tiny dense core. If this core's mass is more than three times that of the sun, gravity overwhelms everything else, leading to the formation of a black hole. Detecting black holes is no easy task since they don't emit any light. However, scientists have found ways to infer their presence by observing their effects on nearby matter. For example, if a black hole passes through a cloud of interstellar matter, it'll pull that matter towards it in a process called accretion. Additionally, when a normal star gets too close to a black hole, it can get torn apart, emitting X-rays as it does so. Black holes also have a significant impact on their surroundings. They can consume nearby stars, emit powerful gamma bursts, and even influence the growth of new stars in some areas while stalling it in others. But where do black holes come from? Picture this. Stars, once magnificent and blazing, meet their ultimate demise in a spectacular explosion called a supernova. From the remnants of these fallen giants, black holes emerge. Most black holes are born from massive stars that have reached their celestial retirement party in a supernova blast. Smaller stars, when they die, transform into something called neutron stars, which are super dense but not dense enough to trap light. However, if a star is about three times the mass of our sun, it collapses under its own gravitational pull, forming a black hole. As these mighty stars collapse, something strange occurs near their surfaces. Time itself starts to play tricks. From the perspective of someone far away, time appears to slow down near the event horizon, the point of no return for anything falling into a black hole. It's like the star's clock ticks at a different pace compared to ours. Sometimes, when two smaller black holes collide, they combine to form an even bigger and scarier black hole. If a black hole teams up with a neutron star, they create a colossal nightmare that defies comprehension. Scientists have been grappling with the scale of these cosmic phenomena for years. Black holes come in two sizes, huge and small. There's a sinister mystery surrounding them that we can't seem to unravel. But here's the twist. Small is relative when it comes to black holes. Stellar mass black holes remnants of massive stars can be as large as 10 to 24 times the size of the sun. There could be as many as 10 million to a billion of them in the Milky Way alone, an astronomical number of black holes that could swallow anything in their path. But wait, there's more. Supermassive black holes are on the other end of the spectrum. They're millions, if not billions, of times larger than the sun, existing at the center of large galaxies, including our very own Milky Way. It's like a gaping dark void that's pulling everything towards it. Renowned physicist Stephen Hawking talked about black holes in his lifetime. His lectures were always insightful, but some of his theories couldn't be confirmed due to a lack of necessary equipment. However, there's hope on the horizon. A single scientific instrument is changing everything, and we're not ready for it. It goes by the name of the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST and it's here to plunge into the depths of our universe. The JWST is no ordinary telescope. It's an engineering marvel, a testament to the potential of human ambition. Sure, we've launched other space telescopes before and they've been doing their jobs just fine, but this bad boy is in a class of its own. The JWST makes the Hubble, which has dutifully served us for years, look like a mere speck in the cosmos. The price tag of this astronomical wonder is a whopping $10 billion. Yes, you heard that right, enough zeros to make your head spin. It took the combined efforts of NASA, 
the European Space Agency, and the Canadian Space Agency to bring this marvel to life, not to mention the invaluable input from over 300 universities. But let's not forget the risks that come with such a grand undertaking. I know this isn't a venture for the faint of heart. The JWST is venturing into uncharted territory, pushing the boundaries of what we know and taking us to places we've only dreamed of. Following a successful launch, NASA recently announced that the telescope has enough fuel to last more than twice its minimum mission life expectancy of 10 years. Since its launch, the JWST has made many incredible achievements. It traveled over a million miles to reach its orbit around the sun, where it will reside permanently. During its journey, the telescope successfully unfolded its massive five-layer sun shield and giant main mirror, both of which had to be folded to fit onto the launch vehicle. Now, after NASA has fine-tuned and calibrated it, the telescope is almost ready to go into full operation. One of the most exciting things about the James Webb Space Telescope was when NASA announced that it had captured its first images of starlight. The first image taken by the telescope was of a star called HD 8446, resulting in a match of 18 scattered bright dots from the star's light captured by the 18 mirror segments located on the primary mirror. NASA later released a new and improved image of HD 8446, in which 18 unfocused copies of the star were brought together in a deliberate hexagonal formation. Once the observatory successfully aligns the individual segments of the primary mirror, it will begin the image stacking process, bringing 18 images on top of each other into one clear view. Thanks to its sophisticated technology, the JWST will help scientists investigate the early stages of the universe after the Big Bang. It will study what happened after the first stars formed, a period known as the Epoch of Reionization. This era refers to when neutral hydrogen was reionized, or made to have an electric charge again, by radiation from these first stars. This involves looking back billions of years, which is only possible with a powerful telescope like the JWST. The telescope will also help scientists discover exoplanets, which are very difficult to spot because of the way they interact with their host stars. Its powerful sensors will be able to observe these planets in more depth, including in some cases imaging their atmospheres. Understanding the atmospheres and formation conditions for planets could help scientists better predict if certain planets are habitable or not. Apart from studying the assembly of galaxies, scientists study galaxies to see how matter is organized on a gigantic scale. This, in turn, lets us see how the universe evolved. The spiral and elliptical galaxies we see today evolved from different shapes over billions of years. One of JWST's goals is to look back at the earliest galaxies to better understand that evolution. Scientists are also trying to figure out how we got the variety of galaxies that are visible today and the current ways the galaxies form and assemble. However, most importantly, the James Webb Space Telescope will help us answer the most profound questions of all. Are we alone in the universe? And are we living inside a black hole? The JWST has already been on the hunt. And guess what it found? Compounds called polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, PAHs, lurking around those gigantic supermassive black holes in three active galaxies. These carbon-based molecules with ring-like structures are like the goths of the universe. They're everywhere, from distant galaxies to comets in our solar system. Now, they're not just fascinating because they could be the building blocks of life, but also because they help astronomers track star formation. When ultraviolet radiation hits these PAHs, they go all flashy and emit infrared light, a sight that can be detected by the JWST's mid-infrared instrument, also known as MIRI. That's usually a sign that there are some hot young stars hanging around. But wait for the plot twist. A brave astrophysicist, Ismail Garcia Bernard from Oxford University, decided to take a peek at three active galaxies known as NGC 652, NGC 731, the spookily famous Stefan's Quintet, and NGC 749. These galaxies are millions of light years away in the depths of darkness. Now, what Garcia Bernard discovered will make your hair stand on end. In those central regions where the black holes reign supreme, he found an abundance of PAHs. Sounds good, right? Well, here's where it gets chilling. The radiation near those supermassive black holes twisted the Pa's very essence, transforming them into larger, electrically neutral versions of themselves. The smaller, electrically charged PAHs vanished into oblivion. 
Imagine being devoured by the darkness itself. But wait, there's a glimmer of hope. The larger PAHs managed to survive because they found shelter within thin, dense gas-filled clouds. It's like they found their own protective cloak against the horrors of the black hole's wrath. Now, you might wonder why this dark twist matters. Well, these larger PAHs are not just surviving. They're hinting at potential pathways for life to arise. That's right, amidst all this cosmic chaos, there's a chance that life might find a way, thanks to these resilient compounds. Garcia Bernard's paper suggests that these larger PAHs could even be the key to unraveling the mysteries of life elsewhere in the universe. As we delve deeper into the universe through the lens of the JWST, we find ourselves facing the extraordinary possibilities that exist beyond our imagination. Perhaps the question isn't just whether we are alone in the cosmos, but also whether the universe itself holds more secrets than we could ever fathom. The journey of discovery has only just begun, and with the JWST leading the charge, we're closer than ever to understanding the wonders of the universe. And maybe even our place within IT.AS we venture further into the cosmos, the implications of our findings become increasingly profound. The quest to understand black holes and their effects on the universe opens up new frontiers in physics, challenging our perceptions of space, time, and reality itself. Theories surrounding quantum mechanics also come into play, particularly when contemplating the behavior of matter and energy in the extreme environments near black holes. Scientists are investigating how these enigmatic entities might reconcile with the laws of quantum physics, leading to exciting hypotheses about the nature of information and its conservation in the universe. One particularly intriguing idea is the concept of Hawking radiation, proposed by the late Stephen Hawking. This theory suggests that black holes can emit radiation due to quantum effects near their event horizons. This means that black holes are not entirely black. They could eventually evaporate over astronomical timescales. The potential discovery of Hawking radiation would revolutionize our understanding of black holes and inform our theories about the fate of the universe. Moreover, the James Webb Space Telescope is not just a tool for observing black holes. It's also set to illuminate our understanding of galaxy formation. By peering into the distant past, the JWST can help us see how galaxies evolved from primordial gas clouds into the intricate structures we observe today. This cosmic timeline could reveal the conditions that led to the formation of stars and planets, providing critical insights into the origins of life itself. The JWST's ability to detect the faint light from distant objects opens the door to studying exoplanet atmospheres in unprecedented detail. By analyzing the chemical composition of these atmospheres, scientists can search for biosignatures, substances that might indicate the presence of life. As we develop the technology to examine planets orbiting distant stars, the possibility of finding extraterrestrial life becomes more tangible. Moreover, as we continue to explore the universe's mysteries, we must grapple with the philosophical implications of our findings. If we uncover signs of life elsewhere, what does that mean for humanity? Are we part of a vast tapestry of life, or are we uniquely alone in the cosmos? Such questions challenge our understanding of existence and compel us to reflect on our place in the universe. Additionally, the exploration of dark matter and dark energy, which together comprise a significant portion of the universe, remains a crucial avenue of research. While these phenomena are not directly observable, their effects shape the cosmos and influence the behavior of galaxies, including those housing supermassive black holes. Understanding their properties could yield insights into the fundamental forces that govern our universe. Finally, as we embark on this journey of exploration, we must recognize the collaborative nature of scientific discovery. The success of missions like the JWST is a testament to the power of global collaboration. Scientists, engineers, and researchers from around the world come together, pooling their expertise and resources to push the boundaries of what we know. This spirit of cooperation not only enriches our understanding of the cosmos, but also serves as a reminder of our shared humanity in the face of the vast unknown. As we look to the future, the pursuit of knowledge remains a driving force, igniting curiosity and inspiring generations to come. Each discovery fuels our quest to uncover the universe's secrets and embrace the mysteries that await us. The cosmos is vast and awe-inspiring, and we are only beginning to scratch the surface of its wonders.